about your company? Certainly. Uh, Datamax is a local company. We started in Tallahassee in the mid-90s. We're a software development company, and we service law enforcement across the United States. Some of our large clients are NYPD, the Judicial Courts of California. We run software communications for like the islands of uh, Guam, Puerto Rico. We handle all of the um, uh, different uh, states throughout. We run major states. Uh, we're local here in Tallahassee, and it's, and it's locally owned. Uh, and our job here today is to get uh, interns, basically in the software development IT areas, uh, who will come in, and they're going to spend their uh, internship program with us, getting their actual hands-on, developing, uh, helping us develop software for okay. the company. What advice do you have for students preparing for a career fair when they meet companies? Ask me that again. <laughs> um, what advice do you have for students to best prepare for meeting companies at a career fair? Oh, uh, well, for the career fair, most of the students here do a very good job. Uh, they present themselves well. They come prepared with uh, resumes, which we like to have, see what their background is. Uh, they seem to communicate very well. We have a lot of good students coming out of Florida State. Uh, once we uh, get them into our system, uh, the interviewing process, they're going to interview with our VPs in the areas of uh, IT and marketing and, and software development. So what they're going to do is they're going to need to be able to just to present themselves very well in those interviews. And they want to expand upon their background knowledge of what they're doing in college and also what they've done outside, whether it's part-time jobs, clubs, organizations, because we look for well-rounded types of individuals. Okay. What do you look for in an ideal, ideal employee? Well, an ideal employee is hard to find. Yeah. Uh, we look for someone who has uh, a very good personality. In our particular business, uh, we have a lot of stress levels because we work on computers all the time. So we look at so look for someone who uh, is very focused, uh, can communicate well, uh, and enjoys actually enjoys what they're doing. Uh, probably in the computer uh, computer area, most of our people really enjoy that because they sit down and they like working on computers. So for them in our environment, which is a very relaxed, family oriented environment, uh, they they enjoy it quite well. Um, every day is Friday at our place, so they get to dress down, they get to come in and work comfortably. Uh, we have very flexible hours. We have a lot of remote, we have eight or nine remote employees across the United States who work, work directly for us. So we're used to working in a very relaxed atmosphere. And we look for people who can come in and, and blend into that type of atmosphere because we have a lot of group work. They get three or four other engineers, they get together, think about things of how they develop it. And so that type of an individual is going to do good in our organization. Okay. And let's see. What are some basic requirements you look for on a resume? Uh, what I'd like to see on a resume is uh, the schooling. And there are areas of expertise or study that they're most interested in. I like to see what they've been doing uh, maybe through high school. Uh, I like to see what outside organizations they've been involved in. Uh, and I also like to see uh, where they would like to go, kind of an idea of what I'd like to do once I get out of college. And so those are the, those are the basic things. From that point, then it's up to the individual on an interview basis to really sell those qualities to the hiring manager. What advice do you have for soon-to-be graduates going into the workforce? Um, a couple of things. One, I think over the next 24 months, this is going to be a very hard labor force to go into, uh, simply because they're not producing jobs. Uh, most important, I think, that most graduates should not shy away from very small organizations. Those are going to be the opportunities to get in and get their first job, maybe spend a year or two there uh, working until they can get enough expertise that they can move up to larger organizations. Uh, so the next couple of years is going to be a tough time 
However, there's a lot of small companies out there that need really good people, and sometimes the smaller companies are a lot more fun to work with than the big companies.